All right, guys, happy Tuesday. Uh, very thankful to be bringing you another SGC reveal video. Uh, this order was sent in the beginning of May, uh, checked in in May 11th, uh, and delivered to me this morning. Um, I think we all know at this point that if we send a card to be graded by any third-party grader, it's going to be late. Um, we've all heard the discussion about how backed up everyone is, and we just need to like get with the idea that like if we send a card to be graded, it's not going to be um, back to us within the time that is originally stated. And we need to allow them the opportunity and the time to get back to normal. Um, but until then, um, I've just like kind of grown tired of the same rhetoric that, oh, my grades are late, my grades are late. Well, you don't have a million cards sitting in your facility. Anyway, I'm not here to defend anybody. Um, Let's get to the cards. Um, 23 or 24, I don't remember exactly um, what's in, how many are in this one. There is some PC stuff that I'll highlight, um, but lots of stuff uh, for sale and has been sold. Uh, let's get started here. Um, this is the 2019 Tops Update Luis Arias Gold in 9.5. This got exactly what I expected it to get. Um, so happy with that. Very happy with this next card. Uh, this is the 2019 Stadium Club Tatis uh, super short print variation of him with his Snapchat spectacles. Um, this is a really, really tough card. These black borders as Rookie jumps into the picture here. Um, everything back here is acceptable chipping. Like, there's even a chip, like, right there. You can kind of see it. Um, but uh, really really tough card to get graded. Um, hold on one second. Sorry about that. I needed to just remove my cat from the situation. <laughs> um, so in this order, uh, not really um, any surprises except for just one, which I'll kind of get to, but um, everything kind of came back as just I expected it to. Uh, Eloy Purple. Eloy's hobby has climbed a little bit. Um, people are starting to kind of wake up. So happy that I got this purple refractor grade and it has some really nice shine. Pulled that from a blaster. I opened a lot of Heritage High Number over the pandemic. Uh, this was one of the cards that came out of there. Um, had some luck on Tatis this go around, so happy to add uh, these three tens. Two of them, well, one has really been sold, another has been claimed, but two are available. Um, and a third 10. I got this from uh, a poorly listed lot on eBay. Um, this is a, a nice card. I'm not sure if I want to just hold on to this for a little bit or just, you know, flip it for a little, a little profit. Um, nice card has really... Nice shine. I like these Heritage Refractors. I went over this in my last video. Um, this is one I pulled from a blaster. Um, got the 9.5. You can see that top to bottom centering is not uh, perfect as it was with the rest of the Heritage cards. Um, so I kind of expected the 9.5 with this guy. Uh, only sent one Yordan. That got a 10. So uh, back to the corner discussion. You can see like this is just tiny bit of white there if I like put my finger over it um, but I guess that's within the parameter of um, gem mint that's a tough corner though so just watch out for that if you're going to be submitting those cards uh, this I also pulled from a blaster I was on with uh, I was on what was it Streamyard with a few buddies and this popped out of a pack that was really cool um, so that's a fun card uh, this I bought from, this is a, a PC card, um, this I bought from uh, Clean Sweep. They had like a little lot of them. This is hand cut from like a much longer strip. If you've watched my channel over the past couple of years, you'll, you'll have certainly seen uh, the full version of this, but I kind of like how this presents in the smaller version. It's almost the size of a tobacco card, and uh, the colors are really nice. So I like the way that came out. Uh, this Scherzer I bought from Cardi C. Kind of like right before um, 
kind of, I think before COVID hit. Um, but I think this is a pretty underrated card of him. Um, am certainly looking to sell it though. Uh, this is one that has climbed recently. Another one I bought from Chris. Um, the first Bowman Chrome Acuna. I've got, um, I think this is my third of these. I don't have the other two graded. One's the SUC now and one I have raw here, but we'll be off eventually. Um, but this card has seen a nice, a nice bump of late. And this, this I sold on eBay already. Um, so that'll be shipped out in short order. Um, TCU Refractor of Vlad. I think it's a pretty underrated card given how people like his gold version of this in the Walgreens yellow. I mean, this is, uh, much harder to find easier to grade probably. Um, and maybe that's the reason why it's undervalued, but a tough card nonetheless. If you kind of like look at how that is against like a Soto Topps Chrome update refractor, have to have some Tatis in there. This one's sold already. No pristines in this order, uh, which I'm not really surprised about because I never go in expecting a pristine, but um, I had two in my last order, so I think it's fine to have zero in this one. Um, another uh, 10. This one's really fun. i uh glad I got a 10 on this. I definitely expected it. This is the 5A2 Montgomery set. This is just a tough card to find in general because this was only issued in the uh, factory complete sets that were um, given to 5A2 Montgomery members. So of those who opened the set um, and you know put singles on eBay, the opportunity to find these are, are pretty tough. I found this on Sport Lots for like $75, uh, which at the time was pretty undervalued. I think they've kind of corrected a little bit, but it's still tough to find. This is the only surprise. This foil I thought was really, really nice. Um, it does look great. Um, in this scan on SGC Celebrated Images, like that corner doesn't look 100%, which, you know, is what it is. But I need to pay more attention to the centering here with the glove at the end of the card. Maybe like there's a, you know, you see that dimple right there next to his right hip? I didn't see that. So that's probably on me. And that's probably why I got a 9. So, well, there you go. Accurately graded. Uh, last normal size card here is the Arise uh, Tops Chrome update, a 9.5. All right, on to some big cards. Um, I'm going to take this out of the uh, team bag here so we can get some good shots of it. Uh, sad to see this card go. Um, this is the Nike promo from 1985 of MJ. The most iconic pose maybe in sport history. Um, and uh, SGC gave it a 7. Happy with the grade. Um, making a little money on it, so not so bad. Um, but I'll definitely look to buy at least one more. I really want a copy of this card for myself. I just think it's so freaking cool. Um, and it has some like cool biographical information about MG on the back. I'm not even really a basketball fan, but... You just have to appreciate a card like this, I think, if you're a sports fan. Uh, or even just a pop culture fan. Um, the rest are Hanks. Um, this is the 1936 uh, Gaudi Wide Pen Type 1. It's got a 4. Um, I'm going to try and like back it up a little bit because there's they're large. Um, these are pretty tough grades. Um, paper stock is very, very light. Um, so like a little like wobble. It's like photo paper. So like if you wobble it or like shake it, um, it will get like a little indentation. Um, so really happy with this. I sold, um, a three or I traded the three and then bought this thinking that it would get a better grade and it did. So that definitely worked out in my favor. Um, this was the pennant that I sent off. Um, the type two, very hard to find. Only have two of these in my collection, but uh, this one's a nice example. Someone's had sewn like a little like pennant banner on this and I just like carefully took it off. You can see like the holes punched in there when it was sewn. Uh, only two left. Um, one of the two postcards that I had bought really like right up to uh, my submission. Um, this was the one where like all the glasses were doodled 
including on, on Hank there, and someone had erased him. The postcard's not used, though, so that's at least really cool. Um, but this one will stay. Someone asked me, you know, I don't need, they said, like, I don't need two, and I'm like, well, uh, I kind of do, so, um, this is a cool one. And then the last is, uh, the better front, but the used back, same postcard, same grade, um, so it's one, this was the one I bought first, and that I